In this video, you will learn 11 plus nonverbal reasoning type 8, Nets and Cubes, part 2. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to master 11 plus exam techniques to land in your dream grammar school, start right now by subscribing and clicking on the bell so you don't miss anything. Let's have a look at this example. And in this example, we're going to use mop to help us find the answer. So let's start by looking at missing shapes. To do this, let's have a look at the cube we have on the left. And in this cube, we have three shapes. We have an O shape, an L, and an X shape. So these are the three shapes we have. So if we find a net in which that does not contain all of these three shapes, then we cross the net off. So let's start with A. In A, we have the L shape, we have the O shape, and we have the X shape. So that's fine, and we can move on to B. In B, we have the O shape, we have the X and the L shape, so they're also fine. Let's move on to C. In C, we have the X shape, we have the L shape, and we have the O shape. So that's fine, and let's move on to D. We have the X and the L shape, but we do not have the O shape. Because we are missing one of the shapes, and we're meant to have all three of the shapes, we can cross off D. So let's cross off D, and let's move on to E. In E, we have the X shape, we have the O shape, and we have the L shape. So E is fine. So out of the five options we started with, we're now left with four. We're left with A, B, C, and E. We managed to cross off D. Now, we can put a tick next to missing shapes, and let's move on to opposite sides. In terms of opposite sides, let's have a look at the cube we have on the left. So in this cube, we have three shapes, and they're all next to each other. And in terms of the opposite sides rule, is that opposite sides can never be next to each other. And since these shapes are next to each other, this means that none of these shapes are actually on the opposite sides. So for this net, these are the opposite sides. So these two sides are opposite. These two sides are also opposite. And finally, these are also opposite. So these are the opposite sides for this type of net. So let's start with A. In A, we can straight away see that X and L, they're opposite, just like over here, as you guys could see, they're both on opposite sides. If they're opposite, they won't be next to each other. So that means we can cross off A because we want them to be next to each other. So let's move to B. In B, they're not an opposite, they're all next to each other. So that's fine. B is fine. Let's move to C. In C, you may notice that L and O, they're on opposite sides, just like over here. We want them to be next to each other, not opposite, so we can cross off C. So now we're left with B and E, but let's check E just to be sure. So in E, we once again find another opposite one. X and O, they're also opposite. When we want them to be next to each other, they're also opposite. So we can cross off E. Now we're only left with B, so that means... Our answer to this question is B. So let's check if B is right by unfolding the cube. And as you guys could see, this net is exactly like B. So this means our answer for this question is B. This is the aid for constructing the cube to gain a better understanding of how the net folds in a far more effective way. So the link's in the description below and in the comments section. So go check that out. Now to learn more on nonverbal reasoning types, click the video on the right. And to learn the previous type, click the video on the left. So take your pick. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.